September 5th, 2022, Daily Bread. Passage, Deuteronomy, chapter 3, verse 12 through verse 29. Key verse 22. Title, God will fight for you. Of the land that we took over at that time, I gave the Reubenites and the Gadites the territory north of Aroer by the Arnon Gorge, including half the hill country of Gilead, together with its towns. The rest of Gilead and all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the half-tribe of Manasseh. The whole region of Argob in Bashan used to be known as the land of the Raphites. Jair, a descendant of Manasseh, took the whole region of Argob as far as the border of the Geshurites and the Maacathites. It was named after him, so that to this day Bashan is called Havoth Jair, and I gave Gilead to Makir. But to the Reubenites and the Gadites I gave the territory extending from Gilead down to the Arnon Gorge, the middle of the gorge being the border, and out to the Jabbok River, which is the border of the Ammonites. Its western border was the Jordan in the Arabah, from Kinnereth to the Sea of the Arabah, that is, the Dead Sea, below the slopes of Pisgah. I commanded you at that time, the Lord your God has given you this land to take possession of it, but all your able-bodied men, armed for battle, must cross over ahead to the other Israelites. However, your wives, your children, and your livestock, I know you have much livestock, may stay in the towns I have given you. Until the Lord gives rest to your fellow Israelites as he has to you, and they too have taken over the land that the Lord your God has given them, across the Jordan. After that, each of you may go back to the possession I have given you. At that time, I commanded Joshua, You have seen with your own eyes all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. The Lord will do the same to all the kingdoms over there where you are going. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. At that time, I pleaded with the Lord. Sovereign Lord, you have begun to show to your servant your greatness and your strong hand. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do the deeds and mighty works you do? Let me go over and see the good land beyond the Jordan, that fine hill country and Lebanon. But because of you, the Lord was angry with me and would not listen to me. That is enough, the Lord said. Do not speak to me any more about this matter. Go up to the top of Pisgah and look west and north and south and east. Look at the land with your own eyes, since you are not going to cross this Jordan. But commission Joshua and encourage and strengthen him, for he will lead this people across and will cause them to inherit the land that you will see. So we stayed in the valley near Beth Peor. Daily Bread Message The lands the Israelites conquered began to be distributed to each tribe. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh already received their share of the land. The promise of God was becoming reality before their very eyes. They were once wandering nomads. They did not have any land to call their own home or nation. When they trusted in God's promise to them, the promise became a reality. Now that beautiful land of Canaan, which flowed with milk and honey, was theirs. God blessed them with so much. God still commanded all the Israelite armies to go into battle and help their brothers conquer the land. Since they were blessed with so much from God, God wanted them to continue fighting for their brothers so they may gain the promised land of God as well. Now the succession of leadership was taking place. Moses was commanding Joshua to continue fighting while trusting God. He said, Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. God, who has given us victory thus far, is fighting for us. We need not be afraid. In our daily needs and struggles, God promises that he will fight for us. Prayer. Thank you, Lord, for fighting our battles. Instead of being fearful, may we trust in you and continue to win the battle. One word. God will fight for you.